and okay. put and, and get him up onto onto the, onto the show. Ali Frogman S joining us here on the Bostonian versus the book. Ali, can you hear us, my friend? I can hear you guys. Can you hear me? I'm I'm, I'm on a bus right now. We're actually we just got done with walkthrough, so you you were 100 percent right. I am literally driving uh, back to our hotel right now. Well, this is tremendous. Thank you for coming on. Uh, first and foremost, what's it like to be back in the NCAA tournament for you guys? Man. And it's awesome. Um, we had a we had a great season. Uh, I'm a little surprised by the seed, to be honest. But um, but we're here, and I think that's the biggest thing. At the end of the day, is just can, can you get in the tournament, and that's the number one goal. It doesn't matter how it happens, what it looks like, and um, we talked to our guys a little bit about that too, and um, kind of fits with who we are as a group. We're a bunch of misfits that we got two D two guys, we got a D three guy, we got a kid. We got most of our roster wasn't. Someone told them they were not good enough at something, um, and that's. That's who we are, and so it's it's just right back to the same thing. Someone said we're not good enough to just be in the tournament. We got to play our way in. That's a beautiful way, Ollie. This is Dave, uh, a match co-host, and I know you guys go way back. So, if I ask you questions that you probably have already been asked, I apologize. But Colorado State has to play their way in, and a lot of people talk about, okay, you got a game today. Is it legitimately like? Are you guys just? so focused on today you're not worried about the next step there is no next step if you don't get it done today right i mean I try to explain this to people they're not worried about where they're at your seat doesn't matter anymore right no seat doesn't matter anymore it, honestly it's just matchups from here and i know everyone says that but but it's so true like it's there's certain matchups that are not as good for us as other matchups um and i think that goes for everybody but i think the biggest thing for us is just we, we've had this mentality the whole season but it's we call it RNME, and that means right now means everything. Um, and so we got to stay in the moment. There is no, there is no tomorrow. It's only today. And then if we are lucky enough to get tomorrow, then hey, then 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 I don't have to worry about anything. We'll be on a, a flight to Charlotte and landing at 3 a.m. in the morning again. So we'll be ready to go again after that. <laughs> Every time March comes around, Ali, everybody wants to talk about the shot. Everyone wants to mention and just get into it with Northern Iowa. I, I will never forget, I told the story on the show before, but being in the locker room for Kansas and watching the Morris twins be given a piece of paper with your last name on it and watching them laugh trying to pronounce your last name. And I said, after the game, I said, well, sure as hell, they know how to say his last name now. How much fun is it for you to relive that moment every March? Uh, it's awesome. It's uh, I got, yeah, my wife laughs every time she sees our last name now too. So it's the same thing, <laughs> but um, no, it's 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 awesome to see to see that and and relive those moments and and kind of reconnect with Northern Iowa in my past. Like that that's what's fun, and I think that's I'll always remember that. And um, and all and now I'll always remember my shorts being so long and probably there's enough cotton in, enough cotton in those to supply a whole so roster cool, right now. Though. Yeah, exactly. I look, I look like I was like 5'6". I'm, I'm, I'm more 5'11", but I look like 5'6 with those shorts on. <laughs> Listen, I've been practicing for two days. When P. Roth said you were going to be on a show, I've been saying Ali Farouk Manesh. Like, I've been practicing, so yeah, I got it right. That's really good. No, that's actually really good. That's Listen, impressive. Listen, I got to tell you, I was in a in a, a book in a special event room in March Madness in Vegas, and there were people chanting your name in the room going crazy <laughs> when you hit that shot it was it was one of those moments that's frozen in time for me and it's a pleasure to finally actually get to meet you but i gotta ask you like p roll talks about like he was diagonally across from you were like looking right at him but you <laughs> caught that ball and you did a little glance to the right like what were what did you look at like did you go all right i'm making this thing like there's nobody around i gotta chuck it right now what was that little look to the right Honestly, it was like attack the basket first, and then um, and then nobody was there, and they backed <laughs> off of me. And I mean, it was I, I I don't remember the last time I was that open ever. Um, so it was more it was more of just it was a natural reaction to it. And then honestly, because Coach Jake was and Matt knows this, but Coach Jacobson gives you the ultimate confidence to shoot whatever yeah. shot you want because you have to play defense. So when you're open and you work on your game enough, um, like I did, like I never never hesitated after that. And I think that's. That's the only way to play offense is is to not hesitate. And obviously, I got to I get to, got to shoot those shots because coach saw me prepare for those moments my whole career. Um, but yeah, no, it was just I looked down, nobody was there, and I, we honestly haven't crossed half court in so long. It was like <laughs> I just saw the rim for the first time in forever. Um, but at that moment, it was just it, take the game into my own hands. At that point, so 
you mentioned that every March that shot gets you to kind of reconnect with Northern Iowa and coach Ben Jacobson, but as a unit, as a team, do you guys stay in contact because your locker room was so tight? You had so many guys that it felt like you guys were going to be friends for life. Yeah. And it's always harder now, right? You got like, I got four kids, like half our team has <laughs> like 30 kids now. Um, so it, it is harder with just, just life. But right. um, it always – something always gets bring, brought back, and we always have that memory, and that always connects us. So, like, I had three texts from three of my teammates today saying good luck and obviously making fun of me for other stuff too. But um, <laughs> but that's, that, that's what's great about March Madness is, like, we'll always have that memory, and that will always carry us back to each other and, and bring back other memories because the games, you remember those. But to be honest, it's all that other stuff that goes into it and whatnot um, that you remember more than anything else. Ali. You just mentioned the four kids. I looked at some pictures there. You got a gorgeous family. Okay. Do they I even believe that. that you played basketball? I mean, <laughs> and one, like, cause I got three daughters and I actually could play sports and stuff. And they, no, they don't believe a word that I said, you got video, you hit a shot in the biggest tournament ever. Did the kids look at you like daddy? Seriously, that's not you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, my oldest. This son, like, he gets it a little bit more now. He's nine. Um, but n nobody else cares, to be honest. Like, I don't even know if they've got to the point where they even would ask me that question. Um, so, yeah, no, nobody really cares in my family. <laughs> yep. So, C CBS did this thing this morning where they asked every head coach in the dance what was their favorite music. Your mm -hmm. your boss, Nico Medbev, is at, at Colorado State. He picked Prince. Are you guys bumping Prince at practice a lot? Um, no, that must be in his own headphones. I, I, Prince, is, <laughs> Prince is not playing his shoe around. It's not playing in warm ups. It's uh, that must be in just his head. That's in his iTunes library only. <laughs> I love it. Um, you got the family there with you. How do you travel with these kids? How do you do this? <laughs> it's awesome. Like I think that's the that's the best part about it is uh, my kids get experiences, even though they like two, three of them don't care. But um, they get experience this, and like my oldest son, he loves basketball. So him just, him just walking around, seeing this and what it's like, and how much time these guys put into it, um, and then them also just seeing what it takes, to, like the sacrifice that it takes for these kids to chase a dream. Um, I think it's a great lesson for my my kids to see every single day. And then the travel is just nuts. I mean, it is yeah. what it is. You're always in chaos. Like it was funny. I, my, as soon as we got on the plane, <laughs> the plane to fly out. One of my kids got stuck in between the in between the seats and couldn't get out, so he started yelling. <laughs> the other one's headphones didn't work, so they started yelling. Um, so it's always there's always something going on, but it also it also reminds me too like there's a balance to life. Um, yes. This isn't the end all be all. This is still a game, and this is still it's it's a huge piece of what we do, but it's still a game, and it's supposed to be fun. Ali, UD Arena is a unique place. It's really high on the sides. The backdrop is not that deep. From a shooter perspective, and you're a shooter, what was it like to have shoot around today? Was it surprising at all once you guys got into UD Arena to see it today in Dayton? No, it's really nice. Like I think that's it goes back to just what you said. It's it's a great arena, it's a great atmosphere, and obviously in Dayton they really support it too. Yeah. So I think that's what makes the first four fun. Is sometimes people you look at it a little bit and you're like, man, like I got to play in the first four, but then you get here and you experience it and you're like, man, well this is this is awesome. You're in the tournament, and I think that's. Sometimes people look at it like you're the first four, but, man, we're in the tournament. And we get a chance to play in front of a packed crowd. We get a chance to, to do what we love to do. And from day one, our goal was to be in the tournament, and we're, we're here. Well, last one for me, sir. Can you still knock it down? Like, oh. if you got that shot today, are you still shooting at practice? Are you still shooting at home? Are you still, are you still a shooter, Ollie? It, it never leaves you, right? Uh, no, absolutely. I could go if I if we needed to. I, I could give us four threes tonight. Yes, sir. Yes, no, sir. No, no, no defense though. That's there's like there's a caveat to that. Like as long as I don't have to go on the other end or we're in zone defense, I, I could give us maybe four threes. Plus, we got the best point guard in the country, so it's it's, it's basically like a layup. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you threes are layups. We'll let you go on this because I know it's a very busy day. We really appreciate your time. This is gonna be super fun to watch the game tonight when you guys take on Virginia. What? is your future looking like are you enjoying this coaching thing do you want to be a head coach you've been it for, for a minute now do, do you think you'll stay in coaching yeah absolutely it's kind of just uh, it's been part of my whole life um since i was a kid my parents were coaches um basketball means a lot to me um and i think that it's it's changed obviously in college basketball with nil and whatnot in the transfer portal but 
to be honest, I think the biggest change is it's not even the NIL. I think it's more the transfer portal. Um, just being able to move freely um, has changed things so much more. Like, I'm all for guys getting money. Like, I think that makes sense. Uh, I, I remember some of my teammates, I was lucky when I was – when I was playing, my parents helped me out a, quite a bit, but there's a lot of other kids on our team that they needed help. And I think that's that's what this is supposed to be about. And obviously there's some exceptions to all that, but I love it. I love what college basketball is about, and we're about to go through the best three weeks of sports. Ali, thank you for the time, man. Thank best you. of luck tonight. Really appreciate it, and you're super oh, busy. This was super fun. Have a good time tonight, right? No, I appreciate you guys. That is the one and only Ali Farouk Manesh from Colorado State, assistant coach. Under Nico Medved, they got their game tonight, taking on a really tough in-game Virginia team tonight in Dayton, Ohio. That was awesome to get hit.